people ask, where do you get your ideas? Well, right here. All this is mine. I'll never starve here. I'm Ray Bradbury. And this is... This is my copy of the Johnson Smith Racine, Wisconsin catalog. Every boy in America at one time had one. You sent away for jokes, surprises, funny faces, whoopee cushions, and magical illusions. I sent away for my first Johnson Smith catalog when I was 10 because I'd heard that you could buy things, strange things, that you dumped in water or planted in your window box that grew and grew and grew. Guess what? Today is your lucky day. Got some tickets to the ball game this afternoon, right behind the first baseline. What do you say? You want to go? Sounds great, Dad, but, uh... Are you waiting for something? Morning, Tom. Morning, Mr. Fortnum. Morning, Mrs. Goodbody. Ever seen to you that the whole world is just crawling with things? And it ain't the creepers and crawlers in my lilac. Hmm? It's invaders from out of space. Flying saucers you see on TV. You don't believe all that, though, do you, Mrs. Goodbody? I believe everything. I'm the first line of defense. There. <laughs> Take that. Oh, gotcha. Tom Fortnum? Yeah. Special delivery. Sign here, son. Hold her, Newt. I want to see this. At last, here are your giant Abyssinian Amazon mushrooms. For our empty old dirt basement, right? Yeah, you got to have a business head. Mushrooms are a growth industry. Growth industry. Digging the Panama Canal. There'll be tractors down there next. Those are mushrooms, not toadstools. Yes, mushrooms. This week's project. Toadstools! <sighs> no. Just plain old Abyssinian mushrooms. Beauties, huh? Beauties?
Hi, neighbor. That unexplained Hi, radio you. static has interfered with microwave transmissions for the last 48 hours. A meteorite shower is blamed. So, there... I get the feeling everything's going to hell in a handbasket. <laughs> yeah. Every blasted station. Every newspaper, every TV news show. Doom and damnation. Well, I think it's always been that way. It's just that now with TV and satellites, we learn more quickly what was always there. Hugh, you ever have panics? Panics? Yeah, night panics. Wake at 3 a.m., afraid, shivering at, at nothing. Afraid of the dark and there's nothing there. Afraid of your own wife's breathing. It's so quiet. Midnight. Shivering. You know what I mean? Um, no, Roger, I don't. Maybe you need a vacation. What's intuition? Uh, the stuff you know that you don't know you know. That's it. Now, over a period of time, things gather, surprises. Your hands get dirty, but you don't remember how they got that way. Dust falls on you every day, but you don't feel it. But when you get enough dust collected up, there it is. You see it. You name it. And now I feel the weather changing every minute with the skin prickling on the backs of my hands. <laughs> well... <laughs> now, now, don't laugh. I'm full up on dust and strange weather. So, uh, how about... So why am I afraid all the time? My family? My friends? You? Thanks. Thanks, hell. Something awful is going to happen to all of us. I don't know why, or, or what, or where. I have no proof. But the dirt on my hands and the dust on my shirt front. Well, what do we do about it? I don't know. Watch everything. Maybe it's in the way the wind blows those weeds, or the way the sun burns on the telephone wires, or the crickets screeching in the grass. There's not much to go on. Then we're sunk and lost. Take care. Is there a war declared somewhere tonight? Or is it earthquake weather? Who have you been talking to? Doomsayers. Nothing but doomsayers. Mostly Roger Willis. But he's convinced that something, someone... Here's good news in just 24 hours, look! I'll be damned. <laughs> 